Hey everybody, welcome from somewhere in Illinois, Mount Vernon, yes. Illinois. Uh, we just got checked out of our hotel. We are heading to Worldwide Technology Raceway at Gateway, mm -hmm. just on the outskirts of St. Louis. So uh, join us. We're going to show you guys our vlog of this week and kind of the adventures that are had here at Gateway our first new, time. Yeah, I was going to say new track for us, so it's very exciting. Uh, we're about an hour away from the track, so... Um, yeah, so we're going to go there this morning. We'll get there about 8 a.m. Uh, we got the polos on, so we are doing media this weekend. Um, we'll try to throw in little parts of it, like as maybe we're going through the midway. We, yeah, we do want to showcase some stuff on the outside, so if anyone else is considering coming to a Cup Series race here in the future, you guys can have an experience from us and kind of get a good idea of it. Yeah, so let's head to the track. Technology Raceway and the hashtag NASCARCH. Na, na, NASCARCH. 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 We could see the uh, the archway as we were coming in here. Can we see it yeah. from here? Uh, maybe if you look around the garage, you can see it. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, so I couldn't see it because that thing was in my way. It's right over there, so you can see the archway from here. So something's cool here about Gateway, they don't have their own concession stands. They have these like big areas that are outside and they get all these people to come out and be like food vendors here because they don't have their own concession stands built into the track. It's eight in the morning. These guys got the best oh, yeah, area over here. They got the, all the good stuff cooking over here. If you need a good spot to get something to eat here at Gateway, come on over here and check these folks out. Got the grilled chicken on a stick sign. Come see them. Got the good stuff over here, my man. An old hauler. What's it got? A bunch of old Ken Schrader cars. Ken Schrader M&M's Pontiac. We got the Skull car. And a Budweiser Chevrolet sitting back there. Uh, you be careful with that thing. Justin Marks got into some trouble over that. And we've got an old school Kevin Harvick Tasmanian Devil Chevrolet Monte Carlo.
Woods, uh, there's a lot of things we need to go see. So we left the racetrack, and then we went over and we saw the arch. So there's a picture of that. We went over and took a selfie in front of the archway. And now we drove over to a little place called Salt and Smoke Barbecue Restaurant. St. Louis is known for its good barbecue. So that's what we're having here is our dinner tonight. I've got quite a barbecue wings and ribs, mac and cheese, fries, and a really good croissant. Got I got ribs. We kind of we kind of forgot to start filming uh, halfway through our meal, but I got some ribs, pulled pork, crack, white cheddar cracker mac and cheese, um, their beans, and their kind of famous croissant thing. Um, Best part, the best part about this place is that we literally got our food in like two minutes. They took our order and it was here in two minutes, so you cannot beat that. Yeah, so we're kind of finishing the time here, and yeah, so we're just, uh, it wouldn't be a Danny B video if we didn't show some food. At our hotel, we just come over to look at the turtles and they all just started swimming over here. Look at this thing, that's an alligator snapping turtle and a bunch of regular snapping turtles. There's even a bass, he was around here for a second. They all must get fed by a lot of people at this hotel, but, oh yeah, there's the bass, he gets, it's right there. They must get fed a lot over here, because uh, they're all expecting something over here. It's race day. Sunday Cup Day here at Worldwide Technology Raceway at Gateway. The fans are piling in early, and we are gonna show you guys a look at our look at uh, this race weekend. So if you guys wanna come here in the future, you can see what the cup race experience is like. When you first enter the fan zone area over here, there is some sponsored tent set up. So they've got some sponsored gatherings here. So the people at Dent Wizard, uh, a few other companies, they've got some things set up. And then Claudia, this is something we see in about every race we go to now. Toyota has their big presence. That's their normal thing. They've got a show car of Kurt Busch that you can get in and take a photo. And then all, of all, all their uh, street cars that you can check out. So we, we don't have Wheel of Fortune over here. We kind of have like a Toyota version of something. Yeah. People get to spend for a prize over here. Oh, just missed it. Look at a brand new Tundra out here on display. You know, I'd like to have one of these, but uh, a little pricey. And a Kurt Busch show car over there. Lots of things for the fans to do. DJ action over here. Check out this Mustang over here with a paint job. We saw Eric Jones run something like this in NASCAR, but then you see this here. This is a booth honoring the Tuskegee Airmen. Very historic World War II heroes. Did a lot for this country. We have some official merchandise here from Worldwide Technology Raceway. The Enjoy Illinois 300 shirts available, hats, other kind of items. Cheater, stop cheating, all right? We will air you out in front of everybody for cheating. All right, so here's a very important part of this game. When you catch the balloon, do not throw it right back. On the whistle, get ready. Oh, she came in low under the radar. We've got our winning team. Congratulations, winning team. Step up to the front of the stage, please. Everybody else that had a team, we have free prizes for everybody. The winning team, each scoring the Joey Logano t shirt. Congratulations. Okay. Got the good Joey stuff Logano. cooking this morning again, just like yesterday. A lot, of, a lot of lemonade over there. Got some Domino's pizza available. Hot dogs and fries, burgers. Not sure what they got cooking over there, but looks like it's probably pretty good over there. Got some barbecue. Wouldn't be in St. Louis about the barbecue. Hot day in Illinois calls for some ice cream, so they got that over here. Another burger and fry place. Bush beer set up. Already got some competition going on here at Gateway as we've got RC cars racing around this track out here in the wall. Drifting around that turn. Oh, collision. We never see the Monster Energy people anymore since they stopped being a sponsor of the sport. But uh, they're set up. It looks like they're giving out some free monsters today. Yeah, 
Claudia loves little craft things like this, and she's found a, a boot that is entirely racing themed crafts here. Life is better at the yes. track for sure. this one. Kind of like us in filming. Lots of cool things here, and I think she's going to find something that she likes that's racing themed. Chase Elliott merchandise hauler is busy as usual at most races, and what is that we see there? First next gen 124 scale die cars that I've seen being sold out in the wild. It is a Kyle Larson test car from earlier this season. Cut for Daniel to drink his milk in for bed. Okay, it's, it's a McDonald's cup being given out by the folks here at McDonald's. Yeah, and they have the uh, shoot, like a shoot corner. Yeah. And they were talking about blah, blah, and then they're like, all right, we'll see you at the race tomorrow and stuff. Like, yeah, it's going to be fun first race. And I was like, wow, I mean, I guess, you know, it's being it's good. We actually we had an issue believe it or not that car had issues all weekend but um we came in changed tires and done some other things and um actually fixed the issue thank goodness and he was able to drive through the field he ran off a racetrack three more times they showed twice <laughs> and then uh we didn't change tires at the second stage and he actually kept making progress and then we made a decision put on slicks everybody followed us so it just played out to where it got him back up front to be able to put on a show like he does. Yeah, I mean, like, they're gonna have to, like, it's the best idea so far. The best idea would be to take it all the way to a full stadium like uh, my alma mater deal stadium, or just retire the damn thing and get these guys an off way.
So here we are in the car. Sorry if this uh, vlog has felt very choppy because honestly we kept forgetting to film. So here we are. We got lots of great at the track content, which I'm sure you guys have seen. We did show you guys a decent amount of what they had with the start, but overall I thought this was a pretty great race weekend for this area. I can tell the, the St. Louis market has wanted something like this of this level for a little while now. They've had IndyCar, you get NHRA. They've had the NASCAR truck series, but they finally got the big boys, the NASCAR Cup Series to come to town. And St. Louis area, they showed out. There was a good crowd, very full crowd. And uh, I, we wasn't sure if we were going to see great racing, but overall, I think that battle to end between Kyle Busch and Joey Logano was actually really good. Saw some interesting drama between uh, Ross Jastain and Chase Elliott, and Ross Jastain and Denny Hamlin, and BJ McLeod got involved somehow, but. You know, it was overall a really interesting race. We're glad we got the opportunity to come out here. Thank you to uh, the folks over at Worldwide Technology Raceway for inviting us, giving us a chance to uh, have media coverage and show you guys a little bit more on this race weekend. If you missed any of the interviews and other at the track content that we had, make sure you go back on my channel and rewatch those. There's a lot of them here on the channel. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys are able to watch more of these at track vlog style videos and I hope that you find some kind of enjoyment of it and if you're considering going to Worldwide Technology Raceway for a NASCAR Cup race, I hope that this video did a good job of showcasing to you guys what this track is like. Yes, there was a lot, a lot of fan engagement. Uh, we didn't get to participate in a ton of it, um, but as we were leaving, there was a concert going on down in turn one. Yeah, so, so I wanted to do, you know, quiet track as you see Jeff a lot of you do, but it wasn't necessarily a quiet track. No, if you if you look towards, towards turn four, yeah, that you would get your quiet track. If you look towards turn one, there was people like hanging out on the track listening to concert. I know Old Dominion was playing uh, later on, so they did a great job. It wasn't like race is over, get out of here. Um, they just wanted people to hang out, have a great time. So great job on fan engagement. They they really did a great job with this one. Uh, the racing was like he said, it was it was interesting. There was a lot of drama pieces that made it interesting. Good battle at the end. Uh, but next one you'll catch us at will be Nashville. Yeah, um, we won't have a four hour drive back from the track after. No, that it's only about an hour from our house, which is awesome. I I loved that race last year, just being so close to home. Uh, so Sleeping yeah, in our own bed. Yes. <laughs> For a NASCAR race. Yes. Beat that. And we'll have lots of friends there, so it'll be a great time. So until then, catch us at the next vlog. And we hope you have a great day. Bye, Bye guys. Hey, race fans. Thanks for watching this video from Danny B Talks. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another video from my channel.